Hi, hello everyone. Good morning, one and all. In last session, we discussed about operation of matrices. In operation of matrices, already we discussed about addition of matrices, subtraction of matrices. Now, in this session, we will discuss multiplication of matrices and uh, properties of multi multiplication of matrices based on these properties based on these operations you will discuss exercise 3.2 now here product of two matrices or multiplication of two matrices product of two matrices okay so for every matrix in product of two matrices there is a must and should condition it satisfying uh, that matrix is satisfying uh, square matrix okay so if uh, a is equal to a i j b is equal to b i j okay then a b is equal to here there is a square matrix okay here also there is a square matrix for uh, other than square matrix also we can multiply okay other than square matrix also we can multiply so a b is equal to a i j into b i j so now a is equal to a 1 1 a 1 2 a 2 1 a 2 2 b is equal to this is 2 cross 2 matrix b is equal to b 1 1 b 1 2 b 2 1 b 2 2 this is b matrix now a b is equal to so a 1 1 a 1 2 a 2 1 a 2 2 so here b matrix is b11 b12 b21 b22 now we can multiply first row this is first row so this is first column and this is second column this is second row now first row into first column first row into second column next we can multiply second row into first column second row into second column that is now i'll i'll make the product first row into first column a11 into b11 that is a11 b11 plus plus first row i mean first row into first column now a11 b11 plus a12 b21 a12 b21 okay now first row into second column we can multiply first row into first column we can write here as a first element okay so here first row into second column so first row into second column we can write as a second element so now a11 into b12 a11 into b12 plus a12 into b22 okay so this is second element now first row is finished now come to second row now second row into first column second row into second column that is a21 into b11 that is a21 b11 plus a21 into b21 a21 into b21 next a to first row second row into first column over now second row into second column a to one into b one two a to one into b one two plus a to two into b two two a to two into b two two this is the product of a and b product of a and b <coughs> So here I am taking general 
ए इज ईक्वल टू ए वन वन ए वन टू ए टू वन ए टू टू बी इज ईक्वल टू बी वन वन बी वन टू बी टू वन बी टू टू सो दिस इज ए बी मैट्रिक्स द प्रोडक्ट ऑफ दीज टू मैट्रिक्स इज दिस मच दिस इज द जनरल ना आई टेक वन एग्जाम्पल नो आई एम टेकिंग वन एग्जाम्पल Now, dear children, a is equal to two, four, three, two. B is equal to one, two. Sorry, one, three, minus two, five. Find a b. Okay. So a b means here product. Product of a matrices and b matrices. Now, a b is equal to instead of a, we can write two, four, three, two. Instead of b, we can write one, three, minus two, five. Okay. So now, in last, I did general matrix, but this is example, same similar method. First row into first column. First row into second column, and then we'll come for second row into first column. Second row into second column. Dear children, observe here. First row into first column. Two into one, two ones are two. Four into minus two. Four into minus two is minus eight. First row into first column is finished. Now come to first row into second column. First row into second column product you will write here. Two into three, two threes are six. Four into five, four fives are twenty. Okay. Next, second row into first column. Second row into second column. Three into one. First row finished. Now come to second row. Three into one, three ones are three. Two into two, two twos are minus four. Three into three, three threes are nine. Two into five, two fives are ten. Okay, I think all of it clear. So here, that is two minus eight is minus six. Six plus twenty is twenty-six. Three minus four is minus one. Nine plus ten is nineteen. This is the product of these two matrices. Okay. And then one more point here. What is the order of first matrix? A matrix. That should be the product of order. Okay. If A matrix is in order, then to that will give you better answer of order. That is why it is. Okay. So here two thrust two matrix is there. Here also we got two thrust two matrix. I think all of you clear. So and then uh, remaining the uh, so many problems is there in exercise. There I will discuss uh, all problems of uh, multiplication of matrices. Now one more concept is there. That is properties of multiplication of matrices. properties of properties of multiplication of matrices properties of multiplication of matrices first property is associative law so here Commutative law is not satisfying. Okay, 
commutative law is not satisfied. So, y means a b is not equal to b a. So, here so whatever product a b is there no that is not equal to b a that is why commutative law is not satisfying under multiplication but associative law is satisfying ok. For every three matrices for every three matrices so a comma b and c ok for every three square matrices a comma b and c ok such that such that a b of c is equal to a of b c so now associative law is satisfying so i mean how we can satisfy means uh, i will take one example and i will show that example okay so a b of c is equal to a of b c this is associative law under multiplication this associative law so it satisfying uh, both the operations okay associative law is satisfying uh, uh, under addition and also under multiplication next one is next one is distributive law distributive law ok in under multiplication only three laws is there so one is associative law another one is distributive law next another one is additive ok not additive multiplicative identity ok distributive law for every for every three matrices three matrices a comma b and c that is such that a of b plus c is equal to a into b a b plus a into c a c for every three matrices a comma b and c such that a of b plus c is equal to a into b a b a into c a c ok next another one is ok second one is a plus b of c is equal to a into c is a c b into c is b c these two are distributive law ok a of b plus c is equal to a b plus a c a, a plus b of c is equal to a c plus b c these two laws distributive law under multiplication next third one is multiplicative multiplicative identity multiplicative identity so here multiplicative identity means for a is the square matrix for a is the square matrix a is the square matrix i is the identity matrix i is the identity identity matrix such that a i is equal to i a is equal to a ok so here distributive law for every three matrices a comma b and c such that a of b plus c is equal to a b plus a c a plus b of c is equal to a into c is a c b into c is b c so multiplicative identity means here a i ok here i is the identity matrix ok so a i is equal to i a is equal to a a i is equal to i a is equal to a here a is the square matrix i is the identity matrix identity matrix means uh, diagonal elements is equal to what one ok so i mean for every matrix into identity means uh, you will get every matrix only ok for example a into i is equal to a b into i is equal to b only c into i is equal to c only so d into i is equal to 
d only so that's why multiplicative identity is satisfying these three properties are uh, under multiplication okay so now we discussed uh, so what is the multiplication of matrices so i mean i give one example including that so properties of uh, multiplication of matrices there are three properties associative law distributive law and multiplicative identity okay so almost concepts all covered so next uh, based on this operations we will discuss problems So now come to exercise 3.2 exercise 3.2 let a is equal to 2 4 3 2 b is equal to 1 3 minus 2 5 c is equal to minus 2 5 3 4 find find a plus b a minus b three a minus c I want to find a b and b a okay by using the by using these three matrices i want to find a plus b i want to find a minus b i want to find 3a minus c i want to find a b and b a now we are finding first a plus b okay dear children a plus b is equal to what is a matrix for addition and subtraction of matrices there is a must and should condition is there is a square matrix it is satisfying what square matrix a plus b is equal to 2 4 3 2 b matrix is 1 3 minus 2 5 okay now a plus b is equal to 2 plus 1 2 plus 1 is 3 2 plus 1 4 plus 3 4 plus 3 3 plus into minus minus 3 minus 2 2 plus 5 2 plus 5 so a plus b is equal to 2 plus 1 is 3 4 plus 3 is 7 3 minus 2 is 1 2 plus 5 is 7 this is a plus b okay i think all of it clear it is easy only so matrix is easy concept only matrices and determinants as uh, easy concept only uh, continuity and differentiability calculus part is uh, little bit difficult okay continuity and differentiability application of derivatives integration application of integrals differential equations okay so now come to a minus b a minus b is what is a matrix 2 4 3 2 minus what is b matrix 1 3 minus 2 5 this is a minus b a minus b is equal to 2 minus 1 4 minus 3 3 minus into minus plus 3 plus 2 2 minus 5 I mean 
so for addition and subtraction we can add or subtract corresponding elements only don't subtract 2 and 3 so here first element here first element here second element here second element 2 minus 1 4 minus 3 3 minus into minus plus 2 2 minus 5 now a minus b is equal to 2 minus 1 is 1 4 minus 3 is 1 3 plus 2 is 5 2 minus 5 is minus 3 this is a minus b okay this is a plus b this is a minus b next i want to find 3a minus c Three a minus c. Three a minus c. This is three a is existence multiplication of existence by a scalar. Now I want to find first three a. Okay. So I want to find first three a. So three into what is a matrix? Two, four, three, two. 3 2's are 6, 3 4's are 12, 3 3's are 9, 3 2's are 6. This is 3a. Next, I want to find 3a minus c. What is 3a? 6, 12, 9, 6. This is 3a. C is minus 2, 5, 3, 4. This is 3a minus c. 3a minus c. 6 minus into minus plus. 6 plus 2. 12 minus 5. Okay. 9 minus 3. 9 minus 3. 6 minus 4. Now, 3a minus c. 6 plus 2 is 8. 12 minus 5 is 7, 9 minus 3 is 6, 6 minus 4 is 2. This is 3a minus c. Okay, I think all of it clear. First, I want to find 3a. This is existence by a scalar. 3 into a matrix, you will get 3a. 3a minus c is equal to, this is 3a matrix, this is c matrix. So, subtraction of these two matrices, you will get 8, okay, 8, 7, 6, 2. Now, I want to find AB, AB already, same example only, already I did. Now, I want to find BA, BA matrix. First, BA, I mean here, we are finding BA product. We are finding BA product means according to this only we can write first matrix as B and next matrix as A. Suppose they are asking A, B, no. First matrix we can write A and second matrix we can write B. So now B, A, what is B matrix? 1, 3, minus 2, 5. This is B matrix. What is A matrix? 2, 4, 3, 2. This is BA. BA is equal to C children. C children. First row into first column. First row into second column. 1 into 2, 2. 3, 3 is a 9. So, here, first row into first column, product has first element. 1 into 4, 4. 3 into 2, 3, 2 is a 6. Now, second row into first column, first row finished. Okay. So, now come to second row. Second row into first column, second row into second column. So, here, minus 2 into 2 is minus 4, 5 into 3 is 15, okay, 
minus 2 into 4 is minus 8 minus 2 into 4 is minus 8 5 into 2 is 10 okay now b a is equal to 2 plus 9 11 4 plus 6 a 4 plus 6 is 10 15 minus 4 is 11 10 minus 2 is 10 minus 8 is 2 okay <coughs> 2 plus 9 is 11 4 plus 6 is 10 15 only 4 11 10 minus 8 is 2 this is the ba matrix next children Next, second problem. Compute the following. Second one, second problem. Compute the following okay first one is a b minus b a plus a b b a now second problem is cross square x plus cross square x sine square x sin square x cos square x plus sin square x cos square x cos square x sin square x okay so dear children here so just we can according to what uh, what is the indication is that means we can add or subtract okay so here directly a plus a here corresponding element here corresponding element a plus a b plus b b plus b minus b plus b minus b plus b a plus a a plus a a plus a is 2a b plus b is 2b plus b minus b cancel 0 a plus a is 2a this is the so value of this matrix is next come here so here corresponding elements you can add cross square x plus sin square x okay next sin square x plus cos square x next sin square x sin square x plus cos square x next cos square x plus sin square x now cos square x plus sin square x is 1 sin square x plus cos square x is 1 sin square x plus cos square x is 1 cos square x plus sin square x is 1 okay this is the value of your given matrices Dear children, same similar problem. I'll give you homework. One problem I'll give you homework. Here, a square plus b square, b square plus c square, a square plus c square, a square plus b square. 
प्लस टू ए बी टू बी सी माइनस टू ए सी माइनस टू ए बी ओके सो दिस इज होम वर्क फॉर यू ओके सो दिस वन यू हेव टू डू इट युअर सेल्फ एंड दैट होम वर्क यू हेव टू सेंड मी थ्रू वैक्सएप ओके नेक्स्ट वन इज वन माइनस वन फोर माइनस सिक्स एट फाइव सिक्सटीन टू एट फाइव प्लस ट्वेल्व सेवन सिक्स एट जीरो फाइव थ्री टू फोर डियर चिल्ड्रन This is three class three matrix. Don't confuse it. It's easy only. We can add corresponding elements. Okay. So this is two class two matrix. Just a square plus b square plus two ab. That is a plus b whole square. B square plus c square plus two bc. B plus c whole square. Like that. But here three class three matrix is given. So that is we can add corresponding elements. Minus one plus twelve. Four plus seven. Here three class three matrix is there. No answer. Also you will get three class three matrix. Okay. So four plus seven minus six plus six. Eight plus eight. Five plus zero. Sixteen plus five. Two plus three. Eight plus two, five plus four. Dear children, twelve minus one is eleven. Four plus seven is eleven. Okay. So minus six plus six is zero. Eight plus eight is sixteen. Five plus zero is five. Sixteen plus five is. Twenty-one. Next, two plus three is five. Eight plus two is ten. Five plus four is nine. I think all of it clear. We can add just the corresponding elements. Okay. So twelve minus one is eleven. Seven plus four is eleven. Six minus six is zero. Eight plus eight is sixteen. Five plus zero is five. Sixteen plus five is twenty-one. Two plus three is five. Eight plus two is ten. Five plus four is nine. <coughs> Next, I give one two problems homework for you. If A is equal to one zero two three, B is equal to one two three four, C is equal to one zero minus one three. Find A plus B, A minus B, three A plus B, two A minus B, and find. And find A C B C A B. Okay. So these two problems is homework for you. So these two problems homework. You have to do it yourself. You have to send me our Shashir sir. Okay. So these two problems is compulsory. So all of you do it yourself. Okay. Now in this session we discussed what is the multiplication of matrices. What are the properties of multiplication of matrices? And then exercise 3.2 problems. Okay. In next session, you will discuss uh, exercise. You will continue exercise 3.2 only. But this exercise 3.2 is important. It is important for five marks. Okay. In this exercise only for board exam they will ask for five marks. Okay. So you have to do it yourself. These two homework. Okay. So today I am concluding the class. Thank you, one and all.